Today's the day, folks. Well, really, it's like six days away, but you know what I mean. Today is the day that we experience and hopefully survive our first ever apocalypse in Hamlet here. Now, the only thing I know is that the Ancient Herald shows up. I don't know how hard he is. I don't know what he does. I just know what he looks like. That's literally it. I have plenty of plans <laughs> building our new Hamlet somewhere else. Just going after another boss, maybe. So many plans. No idea if I'm going to be able to execute any of them. But first things first, let's just somewhat be in panic mode for these next six days, shall we? Good news is, I got food for days. So if I need to make any sort of healing stuff, great. Also, it's lush season, which means it's nettle time. And look at how much nettles we got, dude. Oh, it's going to be so good. What is it now? I'm pretty sure it's three and one, right? Three and one? Good. And heck, I don't even need to make all these nettles. I can save a couple. But speaking of nettles and such... People told me that Bramble Bulbs show... Oh, they do. There's one right there, and there's one right there. Oh, my... And there's a third one. My goodness. Whoever told me that, whoever told me that they show up on map, you are the greatest human being on this planet right now. There's three of them right there. Amazing. All right. Let's, uh, let's kind of add to this, shall we? <laughs> let's try to actually make our own little nettle farm. I don't know if that's what I should be prioritizing right now with the... Literal apocalypse looming over us, but hey, I'm gonna do it anyway. Three bulbs later, and of course, some um, lightning strike to get my health back. Oh, wait a minute. Are you seriously gonna tell me that that's not... Oh, really? Oh, that's kind of... Is this gonna be good, though? That's good. Hmm. So they have proximity to this thing. Yeah, at least I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a good number of these, I think. But I think if they're too close to other turfs... They just refuse to grow. But look at this. This is looking great. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. This is probably not going to end very well. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. But I got to learn. Can you get out of my freaking hand? I'm going to learn the hard way. Never mind. That's actually good. Usually when you dig up non-fertilized things in this that aren't twigs, uh, you usually end up destroying the entire thing. But I guess, okay, you can actually dig these up. All right, all right. I'm learning stuff before my inevitable death. Good. Now, I have a plan. Have no idea if it's going to work because I've never encountered this boss before. But, 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 I still have the opportunity to buy security contracts, right? So, I'm going to do that. And then once the apocalypse begins, if I hire pig guards, right? If I hire pig guards, will they help me during that boss fight? I don't know. I don't know. I've never done it before, <laughs> so I guess I'm just going to have to find out, right? But another thing, I'm going to grab a ton of these hellbirds. One, because I'm going to need them throughout the entire day, because I don't want to just do... I want to do more than the apocalypse, of course. Uh, and we will, as long as we survive. So, I want to set up some things I've been thinking about. Um, I maybe even want to build more pig guardian towers? In a position that is better suited than just, you know, placing them somewhere random. Yeah. So let me just take all these I'll suit like this. <laughs> I made this last time we were playing off screen. Just this whole row of things. It was taken to my inventory. And then I was like, wait a minute. I'm playing WX. It doesn't matter. I don't need a freaking light source. So, yep. That's just a line of lanterns right there if we need it. But, yeah. That's, that's somewhat of a plan I have right now, folks. Just to kind of throw fodder at the Ancient Herald. While they distract him, I get hits in when I can, you know what I mean? Oh, I feel like I should be doing something else, guys. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I'm kind of just, I'm kind of just waiting. I'm kind of just waiting. I should use this time. I mean, it's day 58. Day 61, right? Day 61 is the apocalypse. Oh, I guess I could be doing some other things. <laughs> I've honestly just been running around. <laughs> I really have. Just been running around almost in a state of panic. Not really, just kind of like... What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Am I prepared? I don't know if I'm prepared. I really don't know. Um, it's either I'm really prepared and I'm just in my head, or I'm not prepared and I'm still in my head. I'm not entirely sure. But it's... I gotta do something. <laughs> I gotta do something apart from just standing around. I do got the heels too, man. I got the heels. Okay. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't be as panicky as I am, perhaps. So... With that in mind, maybe I should uh, let you guys in 
on what's going down now that we have the ability to build our own hamlet. And that would be the island of the BFB. Yes, folks, I was thinking about this and someone even commented about it. Building a hamlet city, at least a small one, on the BFB island. Now, in some worlds, I can imagine that's probably not a very good idea. But in my world, it's a great idea. Know why? That cave cleft right there that is just south of our base leads to the BFB island. So technically, we are super duper close to it and just super easy access. But if I am doing that, I kind of need some of this turf, do I not? So I'm just going to be... Oh, speaking of, my goodness, do you have great timing. <laughs> wow. Did not plan that. That was amazing. Oh, interesting. They warn you of the apocalypse coming. Ah, that's kind of interesting because if you lose track of days, but your pig star warning you, you might be thinking, oh crap, the apocalypse is coming. Ooh, that's interesting. All right, good to know, good to know. All right, day 60. So I think it's time to get my heels together, assemble my army, and just wait. I don't know if... It begins right away or not, like as soon as it ticks over. I don't know, everybody. This is all going to be new to me, experience for the first time, which I'm very excited about, but obviously very nervous about. But I think we'll be okay. I, if, I, if the pig guardians can fight them, or pig guards, I mean, can fight them, then I think we're okay. But I was kind of just thinking to myself while I was pitchforking all that crap, you know, I was thinking, wait... Maybe the pig guards don't want to fight the Ancient Herald because they're scared of it. <laughs> Hopefully that's not a mechanic. If it is, so be it. Maybe we'll be able to take them on ourselves. We'll see. We got the armor. We got the heals. Big time, actually. We got plenty of heals in here. Um, we got weapons. Oh, yeah. I should probably make a... Uh, I was going to make a... Of course, a hand bat. Better than what I got anyway. It's going to last me a little longer just in case. Just a good old-fashioned hand bat. Always good to have. Nice, but, 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 yeah, let's go, uh, let's go toss these security contracts some guards' ways so they can come and help us out. Douglas, Leopold, Alfred, Kenningston, Ewart, and Gladstone. This is it, men. This is it. I shall lead you in the battle, mostly just to have you die as I see what the boss does, and then I'll go in and kill it and hopefully avenge your deaths. <laughs> that is the plan. If we even spawn as day one, I don't even know. We might just be camping out tonight and nothing's gonna happen. I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, this is terrifying. Okay, so the world just gets a whole bloody tint on it. Oh, you look different. Oh my gosh, the pogs are angry. <laughs> the pogs, okay, that's interesting. The pogs just get angry at us during an apocalypse. They even get themselves a little aesthetic change too. Oh, that's pretty cool. That, okay, that's all right. I mean, you got to die anyway, I guess. That's funny. All right, so there's change number one, I guess. The pogs become hostile during apocalypse or apocalypse, I mean. Hmm, interesting. Also... Is it always going to be this freaking windy? Because my, my goodness, this is going to get annoying real fast. Whoa, dude. Look at the mants. They look like they turned into warrior mants. But they have like a crazy glow to them. Oh, that's so freaking cool, dude. Oh, that's cool. Cool. But they're probably super dangerous, I would imagine. I wonder if they drop anything different. I do have my big guards with me. They're going to... I'm surprised they... Oh, oh, and fast. Way faster, too. Oh, gosh, super fast. Super fast, dude. Super. Oh, and there he is. Oh, that's the Ancient Herald. Okay, this was not a great time to show up, dude. Not a great time to show up, but okay, 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 all right. We got this. We can do this, right? We're okay, everyone. We're okay. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. No, 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 no. This is not good. This is not what I want. I don't want the pig guards fighting the plants. I want them. Oh, no, no, no. Don't lose a lot of health, dudes. Don't lose a lot of health. I needed this thing. Neither a fleshling nor my brethren, huh? Okay. Well, believe it or not, I think he de aggroed off me. Um. The problem is, yeah, now look at all this. My guards are going to be a little damaged for this fight. Hopefully it's not that big of a deal. Um, oh gosh, now they just all become the big ones again. Yeah, my guards are going to be in tough shape, rough shape for this fight. Okay, I don't know what's about to happen, folks, but we're about to find out. We are about to find out what the Ancient Herald's deal is. 
So I'm going for him. I'm going to get a hit once, right? I'm going to hit him once. Nope, he doesn't. Oh no! Okay, okay. Uh, I don't think the I don't think my guard pigs fought them. Oh frick me, dude. Frick me. Okay, okay, okay. Not great. Oh, now I got this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, it's everything I would have. Oh, oh, he gets. He's a summoner. Okay. So the ancient herald is just a summoner of sorts. Got it. Okay. Okay. Nats. This is a problem. Um. Yeah. Okay, let's take a let's take a little recess <laughs> for a little bit. I need to get these gnats off me. So he's a summoner. I don't think my pigs will attack him, which sucks. But they might be able to attack everything else. That's my plan. Let's try it again, shall we? Gosh, this wind is killing me though. It's killing me. So the thing is, he doesn't look like. Oh, that's not. Oh, I don't know what the heck that was. But that was that his melee. That might have been his melee attack. Okay. There's a problem with this wave, in that, once again... Ah, oh, darn it, dude. My guys aren't gonna be able to do anything. Um... Oh, frick, dude. Okay, I can see... I can see why this guy is bad. <laughs> uh... Yikes. What am I gonna do about this? Honestly... What do I even do about this? Also, can you give me... Why... What are you doing? Thank you! Uh, what, what is happening? What is happening? What is happening? Oh my gosh, what is happening? <laughs> Guys, I'm so confused. I am so confused, but okay. I'm gonna take care of you. You look like you're the only Terra Beak here. Let's kill you. I'm so confused. I am so confused. See, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking you probably, oh, frick me, dude. I'm, you probably wanna just do what I'm doing, I guess? Just run around all their summons oh they kill the ghost but they don't fight the nightmares okay i think what i frick what i want to do is this still i think just run around until he summons a couple times because now i think he de-aggroed on me so then oh that doesn't help then when he de-aggroes on me double double what <laughs> there's freaking double ancient heralds what is this? I didn't know that. Um, so, oh no, oh no, oh no. Guys, it's all, it's terrible, it's awful. This is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I need to get the heck out of, oh! Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, okay, let's calm down for a second. Do I even do this? <laughs> do I, I have experienced my first Ancient Herald, actually, my first two Ancient Heralds. I see the problem. I see the absolute problem. Um, wow. Wow. Do I even dare? I, there's nothing I can do about this. There's really nothing I can do about this. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of freaking bats. I can try. I can try to get them turning on somebody else, but I don't know if it's gonna happen, my friends. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna happen. I would just might need to turn off the apocalypse. Uh, I think so. It sucks. I would love to kill an ancient herald, but I don't know if I can. I, I don't know. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to get as little on me as I can. You know, try to get them fighting each other. Try to get the uh, mobs fighting each other. We'll see what I can do. See, the bats I could shake, and I did, um, at the cost of pit guards and of course running them into the jungles. It's this. It's this onslaught of nightmares. Like, what can I do to this? Ah, <sighs> this honestly calls into question. Oh, frick me, dude! He even calls down meteors. <laughs> that is so freaking cool, but so dangerous. Like, but as I was saying, this calls into question just nightmares in general. Like, we need more ways to handle them. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna try to. How much damage does this do? Ten damage. All right, 10 damage is not the worst thing in the world, actually. Um, hmm, that's not bad, actually. I might be able to finish this guy off with one last little wave here, and I wonder, I hope, oh gosh, I hope that means his things are gonna despawn. If they don't, that's a problem. But yeah, I think I might be able to finish, oh, not with you here, though. Uh, come on, come on. Nope, not, not gonna do it, not gonna do it, not gonna do it. Next time. Oh, frick. Poison frogs, poison frogs, poison frogs, poison frogs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, uh, shoot. The first poison frog ray, uh, wave was good. Because I had all my pig guards. Oh, this one, not so much. Okay. 
I'm near base. I'm gonna take the risk. I'm gonna go run back and get my uh, stalking stick. I need that speed. I need the little extra speed to make, I don't know, oh, all my pig guards and stuff. It's like, where's all this meat coming from? No, it's my pig guards and everything. Okay. I think we can do this. At least, I don't know about both. I don't think I can kill both, everybody. But I might be able to kill one of them. And that's, hey, that's a victory in my book. <laughs> that's a victory in my book. Uh, frick, dude. I was going to try to pick these off of this to get my sanity back up, but that's all right. Okay, healing... Honestly, I still have healing salve and everything, so I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. Okay, I think we can do it. Let's head on back and kill our first Ancient Herald, everybody. Die, you son of a gun! This is gonna hurt, this is gonna hurt, but I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Boom, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Now what? Nope, his things didn't despawn. That's a problem. That's a major problem. Also, his loot's blown away. Uh, okay. That's, that's terrible, actually. That, that's terrible. I was really hoping that it, oh no, oh no, this is gonna hurt, this is gonna hurt. I was really hoping uh, his thing would despawn, but they didn't. So, okay. Now here's... Oh my goodness. This is this is everything I hoped it would be, if I'm honest with you. But I gotta run. I, I'm running through the calendar right now. I can't do this. I, I probably could, but I'm, I'm taking that risk. I killed my first Agent Herald. Alright? We did it. <laughs> next, next Apocalypse, we'll look to maybe do some more. But that's it. Oh, I did kind of want to look... Ah, oh, shoot. I did want to look at the townsfolk, you know? I wanted to see, like, if they were reacting different. Darn, but that's so far away, dude. Oh, next time. Next time, we'll see what their reaction is. It's time to turn off this godforsaken apocalypse, everybody. But we did it. We did it. We killed an ancient herald. Oh, I'm such an idiot, everybody. I was running to the wrong freaking ruin. I kind of forgot. Oh, kind of forgot I wasn't going to the second island. I need to go to the poison biome. So now I had to run all the way back. And guess what? Another freaking vampire bat wave. Oh, this must be a thing of the apocalypse as well. Vampire waves, way more consistent than they are. Otherwise, yikes, dude, yikes. This is bad. This is bad. But we should be all right, I think. We should be okay. I'm going to eat these just in case uh, I have to sneeze again real soon. I don't want to deal with that anymore. But I got my gas mask. Good. Almost didn't put it on in time. That would have been bad. Okay, we're here. <laughs> we're here. Well, let's go. Let's go. Well, have also found out the hard way. Yet another thing of the apocalypse. Oh, no. Another thing of the apocalypse. Uh, freaking these dudes. Ancient pig ghosts. Okay, get out of here. Are they in ev They're in every room. They're in every room. Okay, yikes. Okay, I can avoid them. The problem is they set off traps, which that's highly debatable. That's, deb oh, that's debatable if they should do or not. But, 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 okay, let's run this way. Be very careful. I am not wearing any armor right now, so any hit I take is going to be not so good. Go! Okay, 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 okay. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. We're, everything's going to be okay, everybody. No need to panic. Oh, well, that was kind of anticlimactic. Uh, I entered this room, of course, with the Apocalypse calendar, and one of the ghosts just activated one of the platforms. <laughs> so... Wait, but I'm pretty sure it's going to start again, is it not? Because, oh, they moved it backwards, I think. They moved it backwards, so I think if it gets here now, it's just going to activate again. So, when that's the case, then I'll just think, I think this is the one that moves it forward, so I have a long time to wait again. But man, man, oh man. I have not had that much fun in a Don't Starve game in so long. So many years. That was so much chaotic nonsense. It was amazing. It was so freaking good. Oh, why did my... Hold up. What? How are my... How what, Why are my honey nuggets now all, like, fancy? They heal the same and everything. That's interesting. But yeah, this should actually start the apocalypse again. So let's see what happens. Let's see. I've never seen this, so let's see. It's gonna line up, right? Boom. Porklips. Cool. That's actually really cool. And then... Oh no, that moves it backwards. I want to move it this way. Oh, but not that much. Because... I want to keep it. Come on. There we go. Now I think I have a ton of time, right? I have a ton of time until anything happens again. Oh. Oh, we did it, everybody. We did it. We survived our first Apocalypse. I honestly didn't think I was going to do it. I really didn't. I really didn't think I would make it through, but here we are. Now, time to go see what all the damage is on our island, though. Oh, that's really cool. 
So something just happens to certain items once an apocalypse is over? Like, look at these lamps, dude. I wish they looked like that all the time. That would be so cool, dude. That would be amazing. Now, we don't have to worry about those bats per se, at least not right now. They're going to be showing up at some point. I lost them in the jungle. They're probably still alive flying somewhere. But, uh, man, I'm finding things on the ground every which way to Sunday. <laughs> every which way to Sunday. But that's, uh, that's all right. That's just more food, I guess. I don't think I can eat poison dart frog stuff, though. Probably not, unless I dry it first, which I haven't tried before. I guess I will. But we made it back home, folks. I have avoided the area that had the Ancient Herald uh, as best as I can. Just because I'm not sure if any of those uh, what's my doogies are still there. Those nightmares. If they are, that's a problem. Alright, I'm going to dry these frog legs and see if they just become normal jerky. So let's toss that in there. Toss that in there, even though I'm not going to really use it. Boom, bada, bang. Good stuff. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. We're back home. Now, I would love, I would love to actually go now to the hamlet. Even though it's, you know, not really much of a hamlet anymore. I'm going to see how the citizens are reacting. Oh, it's probably, mm, I was thinking maybe if I, oh, right. I kind of destroyed that one too. I was going to say, I want to see what, how the citizens react now that the apocalypse is over. And see if anything else has changed, like aesthetically. I don't know. I, I guess I'll find out. I, I'm pretty sure I'm safe now, question mark. I don't honestly know that for a fact, but hey, we're here, I guess. We're alive. Aw, they do. Look at that. That's awesome. That is such a nice touch. I love it. I want... Ah, oh, see? Now I, I don't have any other buildings made. You know, I don't have any of the shops made. I wonder if they would change appearances and such. Darn it, dude. Yeah, this is one of those times where maybe I shouldn't have been a murdering son of a gun destroying hamlets. But let's go check on the citizens, and then we'll probably be wrapping it up. I don't know. We'll see. I'm kind of excited now. Maybe I'll play a little longer here. They set up fireworks and dance. Oh, that's amazing. That's fantastic. What a lovely touch that is. That is so cool. That's great. I love it. I absolutely love it. Dark tatters, everybody. I'm pretty sure this is what the Ancient Herald dropped. I have no idea what they are. <laughs> no idea what they are and what they're going to do. But my goodness, do you see all this loot too? Ah, oh, frick me. The Nat Mound made it right there. Okay, probably going to have to get rid of that Nat Mound. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. A blueprint. Vortex Cloak. I'm guessing that's magic. Yes, it is. Oh. Okay, so these dark tatters and things. And then a knight armor, which I actually already have. Hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what this vortex cloak is all about. So, a vortex cloak. Pockets. Dimensions deep. Okay. So it's a backpack. Interesting. It looks sweet. I'll give it that. It's not draining my sanity right now, is it? I don't know. I guess I'll have to wait till morning because the dusk is going to drain my sanity. I don't know. What does it do? Oh. Damage reduction 100%. 12 minutes. Condition 450. Huh. So it's an armor and a backpack? Here, let's put some things in. Maybe the more I put in, something happens? No? Question mark? Nothing there, I guess. Okay. Guess I'll take those back. Hmm. It says damage 100%. Oh, darn it. I can't even test it on my hippopotamuses because they're all freaking dead. Here, you. You hit me. Where are you going? Oh, you're going after something else. Oh, you poor Matt. <laughs> you poor Matt. Oh, you. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and hit me. Oh. Okay. Sure did protect me there, didn't it? Oh, but the cost of sanity. Okay. Well, can I refuel it? Yes, I can. Hmm. Oh, that takes sanity to refuel it too? Interesting. This is okay, I guess, but I can't really see if that's what it is. It's just a backpack that's an armor that literally does protect you for 100%, which is honestly really cool. Huh. Yeah. I don't know. That's interesting. If someone knows more about that than I just initially discovered myself, please let me know because 
I'm not too convinced on that, actually. Initially, that is. But, folks, I think that's it. I think that's it. I know I said I wanted to start building my own Hamlet and everything, but I think I'm going to save that for our next part. I think we just need a chill, chill part next part. However, I do want to kill the Puglist, right? I killed an Ancient Herald. I think the Ancient Herald's harder than the Puglist. So, next week, expect a lot of building of our own Hamlet and anything that comes with that. And then, of course, a Puglis kill. Our first one of those as well. But thank you so much for watching, folks. This has been a lovely, lovely day. So much fun. So much chaos. It was great. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.